hi guys welcome to high tech review so this is uh, time for another pros and cons review uh, so today we're gonna discuss about 10 pros and 10 cons about lenovo k3 note uh, so this device was launched uh, two months back uh, so we use this device thoroughly for one month then i will upload this review and so let's talk about the pros of this device first then we will move to the cons section so first of all the first pro of this device is display so this device comes with 1080p full hd panel uh, at just rupees 10,000 so which is a pretty good and pretty attraction for k3 note and you can see the display is pretty good and the brightness uh, was also let me adjust the brightness and the brightness level uh, the display brightness was also pretty good you can easily view this display to direct sunlight no issue and you can see the viewing angles are how narrow uh, so you can see this display from any of angle there are no issue and this device also support 5.5 uh, inch uh, display uh, so that's uh, pretty good for some of the user who like uh, to use big uh, size of display or note size of phone uh, so next move to another pros of this device uh, so 64 bit processor so this device running on mtk uh, so this device is running on MTK 6752 processor which is a 64 bit enabled processor and the operating system is also 64 bit enabled which we tested earlier uh, so which is pretty cool and this device is fast and snappy uh, so the so MediaTek 6752 processor is a pretty powerful chipset and uh, this device can handle many of the tasks easily uh, for day to day basic and you can see uh, the 8 core 1.7 gigahertz mt65 uh, 7 sorry 6752 processor so which is a pretty good for it uh, range, uh, for a device uh, comes with 10000 uh, or a budget category smartphone so let's move to the four uh, con uh, four pros of this device uh, so this device support uh, 13 MP rear and 5 megapixel front camera so as you can see uh, the camera interface is pretty smooth and the images is pretty crisp. Uh, there is also some cons of this camera I will discuss about later but you can see that uh, shutter speed was pretty fast you can see and the camera interface is pretty stock and there are mm, not much customization. Uh, pretty basic camera interface uh, so you can see normal panorama effect etc and you can also re uh, shoot HDR images uh, that's all uh, for the camera uh, so let's move to the uh, fifth uh, pros of this device the battery the battery is pretty uh, good in this device this device support 2900 milliampere huge battery and the battery backup is pretty good in this device we get uh, minimum uh, one days of average usage with this device we already uh, get a screen uh, on time around four hours or four hours of 30 minutes which is a pretty cool thing uh, for a budget category device like this and a device comes with a 1080p panel mainly uh, so let's move to the uh, sixth uh, pros of this device uh, so this device also support dual sim uh, but the both sim are a micro sim and this device also support 4g 3g and 2g uh, so you can use uh, 4G SIM uh, on SIM 1 and the SIM 2 is only 3G, uh, sorry only 2G, but you can use uh, 4G, 3G or 2G any kind of uh, signal for your first SIM, uh, so which is pretty cool thing. And uh, so uh, let's move to the 7 pros of this device. Uh, so the 7 pro is this device come, also comes with uh, Dolby Atmos features. So as you can see this device also support Dolby Atmos. It, uh, it just enhance the audio experience uh, in headphone uh, but you uh, you had to buy a good coin, good uh, headphone for uh, experience the sound experience uh, so uh, that's all for the dolby atmos in lenovo a lenovo k3 note uh, so let's move to the eight pros of this device so this device comes with android 5.0 so though many devices are running uh, uh, still now in Android 4.4.4, Lenovo uh, gives us Android 5.0 Lollipop experience in their K3 Note, so which is pretty cool and it's a pros in my opinion. Uh, so let's move to the 9th pros of this device 16 GB storage and 2 GB RAM so as you can see this device comes with 16 GB of storage out of that you will get around 10.5 GB free 
uh, and OS is occupied is 4.81 GB, yes, which is pretty high. But still, you get 16 GB storage, and out of 2 GB RAM, you will get around 1 GB, 900 to 1 GB RAM free, and which is pretty good for multitasking. Yeah, YBY takes a little much amount of RAM, like me UI, but you will get. Uh, uh, right now we have 478 uh, 47 mb of ram free but you will get 900 to 1 gb of ram free every time and this device also handle every task, uh, multitasking to pretty smoothly uh, so no issue task uh, doesn't uh, kill in background so which is pretty good thing uh, so let's move to the last rows of this device uh, so the ui is pretty smooth uh, and lenovo after the latest update of 322 mb the ui is pretty smooth there is no lag as you can see uh, so you can uh, go to any application any uh, you can open browser or etc anything uh, any task doesn't kill in background you can see the camera is always on in the background still on in the background you can see the dolby atmos is also on in the background so the ram management is also pretty good in this device and this device also support a led notification light there and uh, one more thing i want, want to mention that call clarity is pretty good the in call volume was pretty high in this device and the call clarity was pretty good we didn't find any kind of call drop issue in this device so that's all pros for the Lenovo K3 Note. So let's move to the con section of Lenovo K3 Note. So the first con of this device is uh, no protection in the display. So this device doesn't come with any kind of protection in the display side. So there is no Gorilla Glass or any Asahi Dragon Tail Glass like that. Uh, so you have to buy a screen protector or tempered glass uh, after purchasing K3 Note. Uh, so which is a big con of this device. Uh, so the second con of this device is build quality. The build quality isn't that great. It's built uh, most of the plastic material. It's a cheap kind of plastic material as you can see. The uh, case is pretty much flexible and it's uh, not uh, made of a good material. Uh, so uh, the build quality is not that great. Uh, with the, it doesn't impress with the build quality though the device is pretty slim. But still we don't like the build quality of this K3 Note. Uh, so let's move to the uh, third con of this device, the loudspeaker. The main issue of this device, the loudspeaker is pretty low. The loudspeaker volume is pretty low. If you are listening a song or a video or you, uh, brow you uh, see a YouTube video, the loudspeaker sound is pretty low and the loudspeaker is also pretty tiny. The A6000 Plus cost uh, much lower than this was a pretty good loudspeaker but in this case the loudspeaker is not that great in this device so which is a con in my opinion uh, so let's move to the uh, fourth con of this device uh, so i already mentioned there is a camera con on this device the camera doesn't focus the near object properly so you can see i um, i want to focusing in the k3 note section but it not focusing properly but now it pro focused uh, so sometimes it's focus and sometimes it uh, doesn't focus properly so as you can see still the cap image quality is not that great uh, so in this image the quality the k3 note section is not that focused it's a blurred uh, image uh, and also one more thing that in the video section you can't uh, tap to focus uh, so the, the the tap to focus option is not there uh, so which is a pretty bad thing in my opinion and we don't like this thing uh, so it's a con in my opinion so let's move to the fifth uh, con of this device uh, so the vibe ui uh, many of the people doesn't like the vibe ui uh, they think that vibe ui is too old but too old fashionable but lenovo will bring some new theme after that 322 mb of update uh, so now you will get a uh, pretty much amount of theme uh, with uh, this inbuilt in this device so that is pretty cool uh, for k3 note uh, but uh, if you are not a fan of why it's a con for your opinion but anyhow you can use uh, the google uh, play launcher uh, and you can use uh, k3 note with a stock experience uh, so let's move to the sixth con of this device uh, so this device only support five point multi-touch uh, uh, many other device like Asus Zenfone uh, 2 Laser, it's a uh, MI4i, etc. support 10 point multi touch uh, for 5.5 inch screen. So, uh, Lenovo only provide 5 point multi touch for 5.5 uh, inch screen, which is a pretty bad thing in my opinion. So, it's a con. Uh, 
so uh, the seven con is uh, the this device doesn't come with the latest version of lollipop though lenovo provide the lollipop version but still it's android 5.0 so it's not android 5.1 or 5.1.1 so it's still the uh, two version uh, behind of the latest uh, Android uh, ROM, uh, so it's a pretty bad thing. Uh, so in the eight, uh, the eight con of this device, this device uh, lagging very much in the gaming section. We tried Asphalt 8 in this device, uh, but this device lagging like a hell after five minutes or six minutes of uh, gameplay. Uh, so there is a major issue for that is the 1080p panel. Uh, but I don't know why uh, that thing happened after five or six minutes of gameplay. I don't know the chipset hitting or not because after the 322 mb of update we didn't facing any kind of heating issue in this device but the previously there is some kind of heating issue when we are playing game but the gameplay was smooth then but right now after 322 mb of update the gameplay was too much laggy and you can't even play as asphalt 8 in the medium graphic setting also after five minutes of gameplay so which is a pretty bad thing in my opinion and it's a con for k3 note so let's move to the ninth con of this device. Uh, so this device also have high SAR rating. So many people already asked me for the SAR value of this device. So you can see Lenovo printed that this device, the SAR value is 1.590 watt per kg uh, for head and 0.688 watt per kg for body. So this is uh, uh, the this SAR rating is the total SAR rating of K3 Note guys. Uh, so don't afraid uh, if you want to purchase k3 note i want to mention something for you uh, that lenovo says in an article and lenovo also said as an article that the sar rating was tested for the full uh, sar rating for this device uh, that's mean all the uh, frequency are on uh, on the same time like uh, wi-fi gps uh, uh, bluetooth fm radio signal reproduction all things are uh, on in the same time but if you go making a call with this device this is not the maximum SAR value which you will get so no issue for the SAR value for as of now in K3 note so you can go for K3 note uh, easily and leave the SAR value it's the firm is the full SAR value is the total SAR value as that Lenovo provide in the box uh, and the last con of this device is ability still uh, the Lenovo K3 Note right now now Lenovo K3 Note available uh, in open cell method previously it was available in flash cell method but still uh, there is no uh, stock available in flipkart.com uh, so we already checked for last couple of weeks uh, there is uh, no stock available uh, uh, all uh, so that's a pretty bad thing in my opinion uh, so there is a stock issue with uh, K3 Note uh, so if you want to buy K3 note you have to visit flipkart.com or you have to register uh, with your mail uh, for uh, get the stock information so that's all guys that's all the pros and cons in my opinion for the k3 note uh, so if you have any question or if you want to know anything so uh, comments below in the comment section i will happy to help you uh, so thanks for watching guys this is shovik mitro hope to see you in my next video